Um, I'm gonna do one of the viral sensations going since Amanda Todd, which is one of the if you really knew me things. I'm just gonna say about my past and what's happened to me and my family. I'm not doing this for attention, I just thought before everybody judges me, like they do, I'd give them a taste of what I'd been through in my life. Bearing in mind I'm only 14 years old and it's not great things either. So I found out two years ago that my dad used to beat my mum up. He used to take drugs and drink a lot. They ended up splitting up because he cheated on her. So their marriage wasn't good. Um, a couple of years back, my sister got raped while she was asleep. And my other sister got sexually abused while she was asleep. They've both been. It, it all went to court, but the person that did it just got let off. Didn't get put on bail or anything. They just said, just go, can't deal with it. My mum drinks almost every night now. And I don't know why she says she's not an alcoholic, but we think she is. We try getting her help to go to the women's centre, but. She just doesn't seem to want to go. My dad doesn't really talk to me. He actually never talks to me unless if he, he wants to know if I'm alright and that's once every four months or something. When I was three, I started getting sexually abused by a guy that's like eight years older than me and it went on till I was nine so about seven years nobody knew about that until about two years ago when I let it all come out talking to my friend's mum about everything went to the police, they said they didn't have enough evidence, although there were two big folders, like, that big, on both of them. So they got let off. I've got all the help I possibly can have, because I've tried killing myself plenty of times, I've tried drowning myself, suffocating myself, strangling myself, tried to take overdoses, tried to cut myself, I've still got a few scars but I don't know if you can see them they're only very thin so there's one just below my watch and they're very thin because I just didn't really dig in hard enough to do it I thought you didn't really have to dig in that hard I've been bullied throughout my life emo, slag, drugger pretty much everything you could think of and nobody tells me the reasons why they keep saying all this stuff they just say them but usually it's not to my face it's behind my back but then people come back and tell me what they've said so it all gets back to me somehow and then I end up kicking off because I have a very short temper but I don't see how they can call me a drugger because I don't do drugs. Don't see the point in them. They don't really do anything to you. The only thing they do is just knock you out, probably. Took. Yeah, it took me anything. I'm still trying to get over everything that's happened from my seven years of sexual abuse and I'm only 14 years old and I've been through so much already I just want to know what else is to come 
like I said, I'm not doing this for attention. I just want to know. I just want people to have a taste of my life and how it's been. So, call me anything you want. Do whatever you want to me. Try by me. Just get it over and done with because I've had enough of my life now. So, just, just go for it.